the wind must have caught that trash can or something caught that trash can. There's my mush. Sorry about that, everybody. I think this morning calls for a oops, nice uh, cup of Bostella jet boil coffee. One thing I'm getting forced to learn and accept is patience. You can't rush things out here. That's when you'll make mistakes. Not just out here in this campsite, but in living in a van, you have to take your time. And you really have to do that in all aspects of life, but especially, because if you drop something and you rush to pick it up, you're gonna break something trying to find it. If, uh, if you rush something, you're going to forget something, you know, like, it's, it's just, you're gonna leave something on top of your van, or you're gonna leave something at the campsite, or you're gonna, you just have to take your damn time. down the street lots more spots I think these are spots look at that one it's a van back there a little pro master but it takes you on a little trail that's cool I think there's a spot back there too I can see a picnic table yep that's really cool man these are great spots I feel awkward because I didn't flush oh what the freak I didn't need that front tooth. Uh, a little bug in my ear and a rock in my shoe. Yeah, I'm quite the outdoorsman, aren't I? All right. <laughs> I'm learning, people. Okay, guys, with the freak, really in the ears. That's right, get in my ears now, you little bitches. Oh, he did, you son of a bitch. All right, freaking hate. I'm like walking in a gnat. Like, they're just following me. <laughs> what the freaking hell, dude? Oh, Pro Master over there. That'd be nice. Not a big Pro Master fan, but that was nice. I'll take it. That is what I want. I want to go there tonight. After I film, we're going to Alamogordo, which is two hours away. And I want to see pistachio land. It smells like a cow's asshole here. My God. Who could live like that? Anyways, I have history with this very Roswell sign. Amy Dumas uh, filmed the outro for that episode. Right here. Yes. WWE Hall of Famer, now former tag team champion oh, as of last week at this point held on to that sign it says thanks for visiting to close out the Roswell edition of the UFO show on Asai TV holy crap beautiful <laughs> I can't wait to see you pistachio land I don't drink wine, but I want to see pistachios. We are back at the Alien Invasion t-shirts and more. They actually have a t-shirt press here. If you need to um, get some t-shirts, you can order. I'll get all that information uh, somewhere on this video. Um, good people, they do good work. And... Uh, I'm gonna see if they'll let me use their plug that they were talking about so I can charge up all these jackeries and batteries. And that Ice Co. fridge is amazing. The Ice Co. battery drains in a few hours with that fridge. So it's, uh, 
it's good to have as a good backup battery, but it's uh, it's kind of useless for the fridge. Food is nice. Cash is nice. Look us up on Patreon. You can support us, but anybody who gives us power, like this guy right here, Max, then uh, that's a good friend. I was saying good friends give you power. Yeah, that's... everything else is wonderful, but power is like essential. Like this thing right here, yeah. this Jackery is down to 37%. Okay. Ugh. That's not good. All right, I have a Jackery in there. That's 100%. It's kind of my backup. This Jackery does charge off of, uh, oh, it's already at 40%. Does charge off of shore power. So look at that. I'm getting 759 watts of powering that up. Nothing's coming out of it right now. Sticker. Mind if I crash here? Don't mind if I do. What's a good sticker? All right now. I'm not gonna put this on on the roadside. I'm gonna put this on a brand new show because it fits perfect. I didn't even think about it. Scary, creepy, cool is what the new show is gonna be called. And it's gonna be places, haunted places, alien places, like just perfect for that. I didn't even, didn't even cross my mind. I still feel like I have bugs in my ear. Hate it. But yeah, um, this will be episode one. And it'll be filmed here before for the UFO show with Amy Duma. And uh, that was awesome. So it's really cool to come back and be embraced again. I'm in actually in the, the research area uh, and Hall of Fame, I guess, where they keep all their toy collections. There's some awesome toys in here, I'm not gonna lie to you. There's the sun, a little deflated. It's bound to happen in about a billion years. It's gonna explode, sorry. Down there's Uranus, a little bit. This is a pretty awesome piece of art. Oh, done by high schoolers, apparently. The evidence is overwhelming that planet Earth is being visited by intelligently controlled vehicles from off the Earth. Mr. Friedman, very, very, very cool place. If you're in Roswell, of course, it's already part of your itinerary. It's one of the main reasons you come here is to come here. I think it's time. I think my batteries are charged. I know the Thousand Pro Jackery is fully charged off of shore power that I'm plugged into the Alien Invasion t-shirt place. I'm gonna go say goodbye to them and get out of everybody's hair. And hopefully my other phone has been emptied because I'm using my backup phone. Oh, it's a gift shop, Never mind. Yeah. Let's take one of our flights and prepare. Oh, cool. My old pal Eddie Macias drew all this stuff. He's a big wrestling fan, as you can tell, brother. He's also a Cheech and Chong fan. This is why we are friends. So cool. So, uh, come around here often? Shut up, I'm trying to get him to probe me. That stuff feels great. You just don't even know. Hey. Give this place a little more love. I kinda want this shirt, but I have no room for any more shirts. I do have room for socks though. Maybe some, ooh, come on. Damn it. More backstage access. Looking for the Max. Max, Max, Max. 
This is cool too. Okay, this guy's awesome. This is the t-shirt. I, I need one of these in my life. That's um. So tight. Here's Travis Walton's autograph. And this, you got this. It's, he's still going, right? I haven't talked to him in years. Yes, he was actually at the UFO Expo. See, the UFO Expo moved it from Florida to here. He seemed like such I know, a. I know the owner of. I know the guy that started that. His name's. You got cooler stuff back here than you got out there. So. <laughs> yeah, we are saying goodbye to Roswell now. Saying goodbye to the alien invasion gift shop shirts and more. Uh, we're going to do some uh, printing with them. Some Asai TV shirts and Adventure Bot Travel App shirts and maybe Asai TV Van Life shirts. Who knows? We are going to do, uh, I'd rather do business with them and know them and talk to them and make them money than work with some online company or some crap like that that we've all been ah, forced to use. There is no way that Pistachio Land can live up to the hype that I'm giving it. No way possible. There's no way. Pistachio Land! Bye, Roswell. I don't want to jinx myself, but I am getting lucky with weather. It looks like it's about to rain out here. Beautiful breeze. There's supposed to be 100 degrees. It's 75, but it, with that breeze and the overcast, it feels not 75. It feels more like 55. It's wonderful. I've actually never seen, I guess you would call them cowboys since they are herding cows. I've actually never seen it actually happen where they're on horseback herding cows. That reminds me, I have some filet mignon in the freezer back there. Hmm. I can't play this song for you, but holy crap, the, the lyrics, I love the talking heads. They're like, um, they're one of those bands. I'm like, why haven't I been a huge Talking Heads fan this entire, and I, I've always liked the hits, but I never really got into Talking Heads, but this is one of my all time favorite songs, Once in a Lifetime. The lyrics, especially right now, man, when you start getting older, these lyrics are just, ah, you're hitting me in the chest, right in the feels. I have no idea what I just found on the side of the road. Fox Cave Gym Mine. What? There's chickens. Hey guys. I don't know if this is like somebody's house or a junkyard or... Okay. What on earth did I just find? That is what I saw and made me stop. Seriously, what is that? What is all of this stuff? Fossils, dinosaurs, sodas, ice cream, Indian oil, blah, 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 the fox cave. Are you kidding me? Who are you and where are we? I am Clint Silverthorne. We are at Fox Cave, New Mexico, outside of Glencoe, New Mexico. Uh, this is a historic place. It's been here forever. The cave itself has been here a hundred million years approximately. Uh, Billy the Kid hid out in here. Geronimo is hid out in here. It's a uh, rock shop, gem shop, jewelry shop. A lot, a lot of history here. Honestly, I wasn't expecting any business today, man. <laughs> Look at that. I have just fallen in love with a place that I knew but not, didn't even know it existed. Doing an episode of uh, On the Roadside here. That's why I do that show, because of this. This very place is exactly, oh, come on. Some stuff from the Titanic movies. I don't think it's actually from the Titanic, but movies were cool.
Where else can you see bears hanging out with Triceratop? Oh, there's a dinosaur room. Okay. This is a kid's ultimate bedroom right here. You wake up terrified every single morning. <laughs> Seriously, why are there bunk beds in here? I don't know why. It's so awesome though. Wait a minute, I think maybe you can rent this room out. I'm pretty sure that's what, yeah, there's vacuums and stuff here. There's three bunk beds there. There's a master bed here. There's a little kitchen area with a confection oven and a dining room table and giant dinosaurs. There's a heater against a wall. I'm pretty sure this is like an Airbnb type of thing. This is a, uh... <laughs> that's freaking cool. We have an alien experience coming up. Of course, it's building 18. Oh, this is so cool. Is this also a freaking bedroom? I mean, there's a TV in here. There's a bathroom. What is that? I am on cloud 50 right now. <sighs> wow. I don't even know what to say right now. This is just the baddest ass little roadside attraction I think I've found literally ever, maybe? It's in the top whatever. Look at this, the little chicken temple of sorts. I think this is for chickens or maybe dogs or something. This is just awesome. I saw chickens over here that like used to be like a temple or something. Like they knocked that temple down and used all the parts to make stuff for chickens or whatever this is for. This is so awesome. <laughs> what? what was this? This dog is not happy about me being here. So what's with the uh, what's with the chicken coop out there? We did have a petting zoo. We, had, we used to have several animals. We just recently got through selling all, all the animals off. We had alpacas, zebus, mini donkeys, chickens, turkeys, pigs, mini goats. <laughs> we, had, we had the whole shebang out there. Why is it like, is, was it made out of old circus carts or what? No, no, that's actually from an old temple from Nepal. Wow. They disassembled and then reassembled here. We used to have the goat temple out there. Oh, yeah, dude, that yeah, is, yeah, I was sitting yeah. there trying to figure it out. Like, I am blown away at this place. Never heard of it, never knew it existed, and now it's part of my freaking DNA. Wow, that was awesome. Fox freaking cave, middle of nowhere, New Mexico. Stasio land, I'm coming. I am just minutes away. Minutes. Sorry, Dockin. Minutes away from the uh, pistachio land and the world's biggest pistachio. I might eat a lot of it. The world's, uh, it may not be the world's biggest one. I love pistachios. I have pistachios right there. And um, yeah, I might eat the whole pistachio. I just saw a New Mexico State Police officer driving a Ford Transit, the van that I want. That blew my mind. It also made me realize I was, actually I'm doing a speed, I'm doing under the speed limit. But that's pretty crazy. A Ford Transit, my dream van, the state, state trooper. The smell in here alone is already worth the hype. Oh my God, it smells so good. Like I really, it's overwhelmingly good smelling in here. Who are you? Where are we? Uh, my name's Tim McGinn. I'm the owner of Pistachio Land in 
Alamogordo, New Mexico. Why pistachio land? What it, what started this? Uh, my father and I came here 44 years ago. It was all desert. He was in corporate food production life and wanted to be a farmer. So he dragged his 10 year old son out to New Mexico and we all became farmers. So what do we got here, sir? So this is the world's largest pistachio. It was built in 2008 as a memorial for my father, Tom McGinn, who was the founder of Pistachio Land. And he passed away a few months before and I needed a way to memorialize him and keep his the memory of him being the founder alive. So there's a plaque here that, uh, that in a few words does that and details and, and gives him all credit due for the idea and risk of becoming a pistachio farmer in New Mexico. I guess there's ice cream on it. Of course there is. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is that? Crack in a bag. This is like a homemade Heath bar with pistachios in it, dipped in dark chocolate, and then uh, has pistachio crumbles over the top. Why would you do that? It's all my favorite things. These are made from local pomegranates and uh, roughly about a 20 mile radius of here. The pomegranate, everything. I use, well, this for, wonderful. I, I use this for cooking, I use it for drinking, I use it for entertaining. I'll make a berry sangria with it. Mm -hmm. It goes with everything. And all the stuff you're supposed to do now. <laughs> for someone who doesn't drink hardly at all. I know all the all the all the things. All the okay, so now you get look, to... wine tasting is free. Mr. McGinn, great story behind the uh, giant pistachio back there. It's a dedication to his father. You gotta love that. Oh, look at all these awesome vans back here. Yep, that has to happen. All right, kick-ass sticker. Some dill pickle pistachios. Actually, I gotta go call my mom. I completely forgot. I'm going to stick pistachio land, New Mexico, next to the Corn Palace in South Dakota. All right. I need stickers that look like this. These look awesome. I think the uh, my friend in Max down in, in Roswell is gonna make that happen for us. But look at that. Five world's largest pistachio. I actually remember this road. When I was in the Army, we had to drive here from Fort Sill, Oklahoma. It took a lot of days. <laughs> and we were out here for a lot, a lot of days. On our way to get back to Earth, they returned safely on April 17th. It was on this mission. Okay. New Mexico is starting to uh, take over the the box for a second there, I thought it was gonna be Wisconsin that took over the box, but uh, New Mexico, okay, New Mexico is catching up big time. Where the hell am I gonna put this one? Right there. Oh yeah. You guys wanna go look at some white sand? It sounds so exciting, doesn't it? It actually is, it's quite beautiful. Oh yeah, we are in it now. <laughs> I'll be getting sand out of my butt crack for a month. I have a lot of memories from my time in White Sands. I spent two months out here, a month at a time, both times we came out. I just remember, <coughs> I've always been a cook, okay? And they'd give us these MREs in these bags. You know what they are, the meals ready to eat. Um, they're okay, some of them are okay, some of them are downright horrific. But I brought like a whole bunch of ramen and like refried beans and tortillas and stuff out to the field. 
I actually emptied a box of um, MREs and put all my stuff in there. And I had a little burner, like a little single burner that you would uh, run on propane. And I would just make meals and people were just drooling and I'd, I'd share. I'd make like uh, all the stuff I learned in Korea how to make the cheesy ramen and stuff like that, whatever. And I'd use elements from the MREs, like the hot sauce, whatever, to make it feel better. So I've been kind of van life for a long time. It's like you're walking on the surface of the freaking moon. This is awesome. I didn't know any of this existed. Definitely give me some steps in today, though. Kind of just want to get off and walk around in the sand. I remember my eyes would hurt because of the sand was so bright. And we came out here in like, I think it was like an August or something. It was, <coughs> I think, I videotaped most of my military career, but both times they wouldn't let me bring my camera out here. All right, this, this pull off is absolutely perfect. I can't, I can't pass this one up. There's a bathroom over there and everything. Why can't we stay the night here? Oh, it's like Star Wars. <laughs> it's hard to do in flip-flops. I should just go barefoot. I don't know why I put these on. Wow. Don't lose your keys out here, I'll tell you that much. This is freaking awesome. <laughs> so awesome. I think this lady fell down over here. That's what you get. Messing around, can I even see? Is this thing even recording? I can't see anything on the screen, it's pure black screen. What does this sign say? Stay alive, water required for this trail. Look, they even give you a water bottle right there. I feel as though I should slide down this right here. If I keep taking steps, I'm gonna have no choice. I really feel like I can slide this and surf down it, but I also feel like that might break my legs. This is a lot steeper than it looks in per on the, it's a lot steeper in person than it looks on the phone right now. I'll tell you that much, because I can barely see it on the phone. All right, here we go. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> My shadow is menacing right now. Oh, this is great. Hi, Van. I didn't get a whole lot of steps, honestly, but the steps I took really counted. <sighs> wow, that was awesome. Took a little break from uh, the sand dunes to get some work done. I got two episodes of, uh, well, this show done. Done. I'd like to get one more. Uh, one thing I, I just remembered about White Sands, New Mexico. When it gets dark, it starts getting pretty damn cold. My hair looks amazing and it's fine. I don't care anymore. Uh, yeah, so I'm starting, I'm like getting under the blanket a little bit because I got all the windows open and everything's wide open. Breeze is pushing its way through here. It's really not a bad office, you know? Definitely a beautiful view. And that's just one of many to come. Also, funny enough, and this is a problem I rarely ever have, outside of a handful of pistachios, I, and a coffee, I did not ingest anything today. I have not eaten today. I kept telling myself I'm gonna wait till I park someplace so I can make some burgers or steaks or something, probably burgers, because they've been in there since I left. Um, I didn't eat. 
so I may have screwed up. <laughs> I'm out in the middle of the freaking desert. I have no idea where I'm at, and I don't think I can stay here in the night. There's a couple other cars, but they're slowly leaving. So I'm, uh, huh. Oops. <laughs> I'm basically waiting for this last video to upload, and it's not hurrying, I'll just say that much. Uh, then I gotta pack everything and then move somewhere, and I don't know where to go tonight. So I found pavement. <laughs> I guess we're only a mile and a half away from uh, the turn on to what is it, 70 West, so. It's actually nice. I've not driven at night in a long time, actually. Because usually I'm camped out by, what, seven o'clock, sometimes like three o'clock, four o'clock. And, um, I'm gonna push it a little bit. I'm not, I'm tired. I'm tired, but I'm not really tired. I'm just kind of like, I've been on my computer for the last four hours tired. And I ran up a bunch of sand, sand dunes tired. But I, I've got some, I got some miles in me. So I'm gonna see how far I can push it. Guess what Las Cruces, New Mexico has? I'll show you in three, two, one. My first Cracker Barrel of the mother freaking trip. Unbelievable, I can't believe it's my first. There's a lot of freaking RVs, I'm here late. I just had the scariest thing happen. Not scary, but just panic inducing. These sons of bitches were missing. I looked, I tore the van apart. It's a mess right now. I could not find them, it made no sense. It's obviously, I drove here, I backed into here. Obviously I have them here in the van, but I took everything out and could not find them. Thankfully, I'm very smart and I have Apple tags on everything. So I just hit this little button. That is the only way I found them. But I would have found them because uh, they were rolled up in my freaking blanket somehow. So I must have put them down and then rolled up the blanket and moved it over to put the window thingies in. Oh my God. Uh. So it's funny, I can only be mad at myself for that one. There's nobody else to be mad about. Nobody can be upset with me more than I am right now. This, I wasn't stressing because I knew it was there. I'm just like, then I started thinking like, did I turn my back for a second where anybody could have like, like I am now, anybody could have like reached in there and just grabbed my keys. I would have heard them though. I, I knew they were in there. It's just, I couldn't find them, man. Good night, everybody from Las Cruces, New Mexico. I will see you in the morning. Wanna have some Cracker Barrel with me? Let's do it.